Hello, my name is Will Carrara and I am the lead backend developer for OpenETS API. In today's video, we're going to be going over the multi-polygon endpoint. There's two versions of this endpoint supported through OpenET, OpenET's API, and I'm going to walk you through the first one. In the documentation, you'll navigate to the raster multi-polygon, time series multi-polygon endpoint. So here you can see that this will generate a time to live link for five minutes that will automatically download a CSV. And again, we have both curl and Python examples of this request. What's important to note is this asset ID parameter here. To create an asset, you're gonna to need to have an Earth Engine account and you can upload this by hitting new and then shapefile and then selecting the files that you would like to put as your shapefile. Once this is done, it will create an asset like this and you can see that it will have a table ID and you're gonna see the different features that you've included in this. So this one is a sample one that anybody can use. And I've just created an ID for each polygon. This is something that you're gonna need. Every polygon must have a unique identifier. Once that's done, you can share this asset with OpenET. So you'll just share this with OpenET at googlegroups.com and you can grant read access or just select the anybody can read button. Now, let's navigate to the Swagger API interface and we can hit try it out. So I've gone ahead and pasted uh, pasted the uh, asset here and I've included the attributes that I would like to include there. And so that's just gonna give us a comma um, in the CSV file, those each attribute you include will just be another column. Um, I'd like to actually do a daily request example here. And so we'll change this to uh, the month of August and we'll change our time step to be daily. And we're gonna do this for the Sims model uh, and let's change this to inches so that our output units are in inches, acres, and acre feet. And lastly, I'm just gonna change this to a Simis reference ET source. So once you hit the execute button, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get a time to live link. So we'll see this generated here. And all we need to do is just paste this into a new browser window and it's gonna run and automatically download a CSV file, which it just did there. To see what this looks like, we can head over to Excel and just open this file up. And we'll see that for every time step, for every ID, we will have an ET value in inches, the area for the respective polygon, as well as the volume calculation in acre feet. I hope you found this one helpful. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to do a larger multi-polygon request using the export multi-polygon endpoint. Thank you.